verify that the following is true. Sin x minus sine y over cosine x minus cosine y equals negative cotangent of x plus y over 2. And we've got some identities here. There certainly are many more identities, but I've written these down because I know we're going to use these. And when you're um, trying to verify some statement, you're going to be looking at identities either through memorization or through a list of identities and then see which ones you, you need. So I've kind of taken a shortcut here and, and uh, written down the ones that we're going to use. First of all, uh, the cotangent. Uh, I've got a confession to make, and that is that I'm not crazy about the cotangent function. I, I like to turn it into the tangent function as soon as I can. And the reason I, I tell you that is not because I want you to avoid things that you're not comfortable with, because we will have to tackle things that aren't easy. But the point is, if you can avoid something that is more difficult, by all means, do it. Math is supposed to be about making uh, things easier, believe it or not. So what I'm going to do is rewrite this, um, this statement in terms of tangent. So cotangent and tangent are reciprocals of each other. That does not mean that we're going to say 2 over x plus y. It means that when I say this equals tangent of, oops, negative tangent of x plus y over 2, then I'm going to flip this fraction. That's just the reciprocal of this. So I'm going to write cosine of x minus cosine of y over sine of x minus sine of y. Okay, on to the identities that we will be using. And again, I've written down these because I know we're going to use them, but you're, you're going to have to look through a list or, or have them memorized and see which ones you might need. Um, okay, uh, it might be trial and error as well sometimes. Cosine of x minus cosine of y equals this monster. So we're going to write that down for this numerator. And I'll switch colors here because I know I'm going to have to stretch this out. I'm not going to have room to fit it all over here, so I'm going to write this, negative 2 sine of x plus y over 2 multiplied by sine of x minus y over 2, and that is the numerator. Now I'm going to substitute in for sine of x minus sine of y this identity, this big thing. So in the denominator, I'm going to write 2 cosine of x plus y over 2, just following this format. And by the way, if this were t and w, uh, you would do the same thing. It would, it would just follow t and w instead of x and y. But anyway, we've got the same letters here. Continuing times sine of x minus y over 2. And it's just a good practice to keep on writing uh, what is on the other side of this statement. So I'll write that, x plus y over 2. That's the negative tangent of x plus y over 2. Now let's look at what we can do with this. Right off the bat, negative 2 over positive 2 equals negative 1. And I have a negative 1 multiplied by tangent. So we'll just cancel both of these out, or that is, divide through by negative 1. So I'll just show it shorthand just like that. We've gotten rid of the negative 1. Excellent. Now, what about, I'm going to switch colors just to show this specifically. Sine of x minus y over 2 over sine of x minus y over 2. Both of those are done. And be very careful. You cannot just go through and cancel uh, what you're taking the function of. That is, you couldn't just cancel x plus y over 2 over x plus y over 2. Don't, don't even think about that. But the whole function, sine of that angle and sine of that angle, absolutely. Cancel that whole thing. Now we have sine of an angle divided by cosine of that same angle. And we know, just let me write this out real quickly, we know that sine of theta over 
cosine of theta does equal tangent of theta. Or if you didn't have that memorized, uh, look it up. That's a, that's a true identity. That is the definition of tangent. So we, we should clean it up a little bit because I've got all these marks everywhere. But I could just write in the end what I have for, uh, for this left-hand side. Sine of an angle divided by cosine of an angle is tangent of that angle. That's tangent of x plus y over 2. And does that check out? Do we have the same thing on the right-hand side? Absolutely, we do. Tangent of x plus y over 2. And then a quick comment, put a check mark there, a quick comment. Uh, notice that I, I messed with the right-hand si side first, or actually both sides on this first step. Oftentimes when you're using the identities to, to show this or show that, a statement is true, uh, you may have to mess with one side or the other. That is, use the identities to rewrite the right side or the left-hand side. If you're lucky, you can do it exclusively on the left-hand side or the right-hand side, but uh, sometimes you have to rewrite on, on both sides. Use the identities to, to make things match up. And it is a puzzle. It's, it's not easy, always, on the first step, but uh, they have an answer. It, sometimes it is trial and error. So there's a little example of using some of the uh, trigonometric identities.